So what's it like to retire early with real estate? Many people automatically respond, I'll pay off the house. When asked how they plan to retire early using real estate, I can borrow against my home equity if I need the money, is typically the second response. That's how I pay for my early retirement, is the finest response. Many people believe that investing in real estate is a good method to protect against market volatility. Buying rental properties, which produces passive income, is the ideal strategy to use real estate to retire early. The short answer is that, when done properly, real estate can be a good retirement investment and strategy to follow when it comes to retiring early as compared to other people who keep working 9 to 5 and do not plan anything for the future. Many people believe that real estate cannot allow you to retire early since it necessitates being a handyman. In practice, you may hire a property management company to handle that task for you in exchange for typically 10% of the rent that is collected on the rental property. This implies that you may purchase 5 to 15 rental properties while delegating the majority of work to others. You are even further distant from the day-to-day -day operations of the property if you invest in residential complexes, commercial real estate, or other ventures. Starting to buy houses to fix up and then hoping to sell them for a profit is the incorrect response to the question asked above. House flipping reality TV series is indeed popular. No, investing in real estate is not a wise move for retirees. If the home takes longer to sell than anticipated, or if the costs of renovations are far more than anticipated, you run the risk of losing a sizable amount of your nest egg because they only make as much money per flip as they would work for others. Qualified contractors who adopt this real estate investing technique run the danger of losing their jobs. In conclusion, most people cannot afford to retire early from real estate through house flipping. So let's dive a bit deeper to see for ourselves how to retire early using real estate. Stay tuned until the end if you wish to secure your future. Before we begin, let's first define what what in actuality is real estate? What is real estate? Real estate refers to land and the buildings on it, as well as the natural resources within or on that land. It also includes the rights associated with the use and enjoyment of the land and the improvements that have been made to the property. This can include residential properties, such as single-family homes and apartments, as well as commercial properties, such as office buildings, retail stores, and warehouses. Real estate can be owned by individuals, businesses, and other organizations, and it can be bought, sold, and leased. The value of real estate is often determined by factors such as location, size, and the state of the property. The real estate industry includes a wide range of professionals, such as real estate agents, brokers, appraisers, and property managers, who assist with the buying, selling, and management of properties. Why real estate? So why real estate? What about other forms of investment? While there are a lot of options for potential investments, those forms are not as beneficial and profit-oriented as real estate. Real estate is often compared with other forms of investment, such as stocks, bonds, and cash. Here are some key differences between real estate and these other investment types. Liquidity. Real estate is generally considered to be less liquid than other investments, as it can take longer to sell a property and convert it into cash. In contrast, stocks, bonds, and cash can be more easily converted into cash, often within a matter of days or even hours. This means that it may be more difficult to access the money invested in real estate on short notice compared to other investments. Risk and Return The level of risk and potential return associated with real estate can vary widely, depending on factors such as location, the state of the property, and the overall market conditions. In general, real estate is considered to be a relatively safe investment, but it may not offer the same potential for high returns as more risky investments, such as stocks. On the other hand, the value of stocks can fluctuate significantly over shorter periods of time, and there is always the possibility of losing money. Diversification Real estate can be a good way to diversify a portfolio, as the performance of real estate is often not closely correlated with that of other assets asset classes. This means that the value of the real estate may not rise or fall in response to the same market forces that affect stocks, bonds, and other investments. However, it is important to remember that real estate carries its own set of risks, and it's still possible to lose money on real estate investments. Management. Owning real estate often requires ongoing management and maintenance, as well as the need to find and manage tenants if the property is being used 
as a rental. This can be time-consuming and potentially costly undertaking, and it may not be suitable for all investors. In contrast, other investments such as stocks and bonds may require less hands-on management. Overall, the relative benefits and drawbacks of real estate compared to other investment types will depend on individual specific financial goals, risk tolerance, and other factors. However, in a nutshell, investing in real estate is far more safe as compared to other forms of investment. How investing in real estate can help you in retiring early. Here, we take a look at different options available for investing in real estate and ultimately analyze the profits associated with it. Number one, investing in REITSs for retiring early. REITs or real estate investment trusts are companies that own and operate income generated real estate assets such as office buildings, apartments, shopping centers, and warehouses. REITs allow individual investors to invest in a diverse portfolio of real estate assets without the need to directly purchase and manage properties. REITs are required to distribute a certain percentage of their income to shareholders in the form of dividends, which can make them a good source of passive income. REITs can be publicly traded on stock exchanges, or they can be privately held. There are several types of REITs, including equity REITs, which own and operate properties, mortgage REITs, which lend to real estate owners and developers, and hybrid REITs, which combine elements of both equity and mortgage REITs. Investing in REITs can be a good way for individual investors to gain exposure to the real estate market and generate income from real estate assets. Here are a few ways in which investing in REITs can potentially provide profit. Dividend income. REITs are required to distribute a certain percentage of their income to shareholders in the form of dividends. These dividends can provide a regular source of income for investors. Capital appreciation. The value of REITs may increase over time if the value of underlying real estate assets increase. This can potentially lead to profits for investors through the sale of their REIT shares at a higher price than they were originally purchased. Diversification REITs offer the opportunity to invest in a diverse portfolio of real estate assets, which can help to spread risk and potentially increase the chances of earning profits. Number 2. Rental Income Investment Strategy for Retiring Early the best choice for early retirement with real estate is the rental income retirement approach. You'll be in the black once the income exceeds your outgoings. You would purchase detached single-family homes as part of this approach to rent out. Compared to duplexes or triplexes, these properties offer a higher rate of return. Selling the properties is simpler if you wish to get rid of them. We advise against purchasing condos since the bylaws of condo ownership associations may restrict the use of the property, even as a rental unit. The boom and bust cycle of condominiums is another problem. The lowest rent you could charge is determined by the nearby units, even though you might be able to find a condo at a significant discount during a bust. If you purchase at the peak, your returns on investment will be reduced, but the rent you charge will still be based on how much the nearby units are selling for. The only potential advantage of condos are the absence of yard work and the sporadic possibility of receiving a bulk discount when purchasing a number of properties. With a successful rental income retirement approach, you can replace your income, but you'll still need to pay your bills, either immediately or over time. Don't put off paying for that new roof because you don't want to have to tear down the house to fix the crumbling walls. Consider becoming a partner in an apartment building or purchasing REIT shares as an alternative if you don't want to perform the job yourself or hire someone else to do it. Recall that choosing a property that is rent ready is essential if you want to retire early with real estate. A real estate building that has been completely renovated or is brand new is a fantastic rental property. The property must be in a market with room for expansion and generate a profit. The home must have a strong potential for appreciation. There are are a few key benefits to using a rental income retirement strategy. Passive income. Renting out properties can provide a regular source of passive income, which can help to supplement other sources of retirement income. Potential for appreciation. The value of rental properties may increase over time, which can lead to profits through the sale of the properties. Inflation protection. Rental income has the potential to increase over time, which can help to protect against inflation and ensure that retirement savings keep pace with rising costs. How many rental properties are required in order to retire early? You would need 10 occupied properties to replace a $3,000 monthly income if each property brought in $300 
$1,000 a month. You would need to rent out 20 single family homes if you needed $6,000 a month in revenue. A recent analysis found that between 1986 and 2014, single family houses in major American cities produced returns of roughly 9% each year. That gain was split equally between capital appreciation and rental income. This indicates that after deducting costs for upkeep, insurance, and property taxes, rental real estate generated an average annual return of 5%. About 5% of capital gains from house sales go to the seller each year. If the average rent was 10% of the property's value, but 40% or more of that value was spent on expenses like the mortgage, insurance, taxes, and maintenance. This means that you could earn roughly $5,000 a year in rental revenue if you invested $100,000 in one or two single-family rentals. But that sum assumes that you buy the houses outright. In actuality, you could put $100,000 into two large single-family homes or four smaller ones worth $200,000 and earn around $10,000 in rental income each year as those figures assume you are carrying at least a partial mortgage on each property paid in part by the tenant's rent. You make more money each month the more money you put down on a property. So in the end, it all comes to investment. On the other hand, if you put 10% down on each property, your monthly passive income may only be $300 and you'll need 10 properties to produce the $3,000 revenue stream. You may make $700 to $1,000 a month if you can purchase a house outright. In this instance, you only need three single-family homes to cover the expenses. Run the figures before you purchase purchase a rental property because your ability to retire on rental income will depend in part on the amount of debt you take on and the interest rates you pay. Overall, it's important to remember that investing in rental properties, like any other investments, carry risks and there is no guarantee of success. It's always a good idea to carefully consider the potential risks and rewards of any investment and do thorough research before making a decision.